Channel 5 exclusive. It involves the man accused of Christina Atkins' murder, Elias Acevedo. Today, a startling discovery made hidden in the walls of a house where Acevedo once lived. Our Kristen Volk was there. When the discovery was made, she actually called police and the FBI to the scene at 2610 Vega Avenue. Kristen joins us live now with more on this developing story. Lee, we were first on scene here today and happened to see a contractor sitting on this front porch earlier today. When we told him who used to live here, Elias Acevedo, and described his background, that contractor suddenly got very spooked. He then told us what he found, women's underwear hidden in the ceiling of that upstairs bedroom. Sprinkled among this pile of wood and plaster is women's underwear of all colors. Some of it appeared to be used. Others folded neatly in a dusty May Company white box. All of it hidden in this ceiling and discovered yesterday by contractor Bailey Conley. We stuck the crowbar in and just like pulled down and a whole bunch of underwear started falling down. Conley says the underwear was stuck in between the rafters and the plaster in the upstairs bedroom. Something is not right. Like something happened in this house. Conley is helping to rehab the former home of Elias Acevedo on Vega Avenue. Acevedo is a registered sex offender who was indicted yesterday in two cold case murders. One of them, police say, is Christina Atkins, whose remains were found by FBI last week. She had been missing since 1995. Police say Acevedo's second victim is Pamela Pembleton, killed in 1994. It explains a lot. It seriously does. It really explains everything. When we talked to Conley today, he told us what he found. That's when we contacted police and the FBI, and then nearly a dozen of them arrived on scene. They questioned Conley and his boss, Mark Stern. It was just trash all over the floor, plaster, wood lath. Uh, there were like old batteries and all kinds of other stuff. Then officers asked Conley to tear down more of the ceiling. They were looking for more stuff up there. Conley says nothing more was found, but officers took the women's underwear away as evidence. Conley also said that he was disturbed by the look of the basement floor. He said there was a rectangular part that looked to be uneven, almost like a shallow grave. Now, we reached out to police and FBI for comment on their investigation today, but we did not hear back. In Cleveland, I'm Kristen Volk, News Channel 5.